Okay, so for today, the plan is simple. If you couldn't tell by the title, we're going to be having a go at making the mountains that kind of surround the area that we've got right now. So my goal for today will probably be to add in three mountains and then connecting that in between, making it look quite nice. And then maybe filling up some areas with trees and grass as well. That might look quite nice. If we get time, we might not though. So yeah, I guess we'll get started with this area first. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I'm sure I'll get into like a routine quickly, but yeah, I'm sure I'll figure something out. Okay, so I started off building out to a point where I wanted the mountain to be, and then building up to the height where I think was suitable. I then made a very quick and basic outline of how I wanted the mountain to look, and I did this for each of the three edges. I didn't realise this at the time, but this is one of the most important parts of making the mountain, and I probably should have spent a bit more time on it than I did. Okay, so that is what we've got so far. I've kind of got an outline of where I want the mountains to be. So the next step will probably be to start to fill up the mountains in with blocks. But yeah, I guess we'll get started on the smaller one first. But um, yeah, this might take a while. So now we're starting to fill up the mountains in with stone. And I'm only filling in these two front faces. There's no point in me doing the back faces because I'm not going to be seeing it. And there's no point in wasting resources on something that I'm not even going to see. Soon after starting, I found a pattern and rhythm that I kind of got into. And it made the process a lot faster. I have also built a connection between each of the mountains to kind of emulate what a mountain range is like. I'll be honest, there are some parts that I'm not too happy about. But worse than the worst, we kind of change it around later. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, and I think we might be done. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. I think it looks quite good. So what I want to do is link up the dirt grass that we've got here up to where the bottom of the mountains are. But yeah, we'll get started then. So I started to build up dirt up to where the mountains were. I have left some spaces on the right hand side where I intend there to be another mountain, but continuing this all the way around, going over with a bit of bone meal and saplings made it all look really foresty, which is exactly what I was aiming for. As I mentioned earlier, I kind of wanted to add in a waterfall going over this section, and then carved out a very basic river and led into a tiny little lake. And after adding a few more saplings and grass, I do think it looks quite nice. Okay, so that took quite a while to get done, but there are the mountains that we've got. I have added in these two smaller ones just next to it, just because there was a gap here and I didn't really know what else to really add. It just filled out the area a bit better. We've pretty much done this entire corner. It, and that's like so much land, so that's always good. We don't really have any paths that lead down anywhere or to anything really, which is a bit annoying, but we can always add something in later. I think what we're going to do now is add in a bit of snow on the top and maybe blend it down a little bit. So yeah, we'll get work on that then and I'll see you in a minute. So now I'm throwing over a bit of snow over the top of the peaks of the mountains. And it is a bit annoying how it's literally impossible to get snow blocks in super flat. So I have to use white wool instead, which is a bit annoying, but it looks the exact same. I did intend for the top of the mountains to be more thick with white wool, and it gradually faded out to less. And I really do think it turned out really well. Okay, so I think we're done. I'll be honest, when you're quite close up, it does look quite bad. But if we stand back far enough, it should. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. I think the only thing that's left for all these mountains is to add some darker tones towards the bottom and then make a gradient from the darker tones to the grey tones to the white tones, which we've kind of already done. But this whole area looks so much better now. I want to have a go at doing something we haven't actually done yet, which is using shaders. 